Hi guys, this is more of an addition to my previous video where I talked about installing Linux in a virtual box and at the end I said I wasn't sure how to do the um, Linux editions and I couldn't find anything on the CD. But unfortunately I was a retard and I didn't notice it said Linux editions right here and I moved my mouse past it and didn't see it. So um, I'm basically going to show you how to install this Linux edition so hopefully we'll be able to get it running in this cool seamless mode which I really wanted to show in my previous video. So. I'm just going to install the Linux editions. Now the screen recorder isn't going to follow me because it's really irritating. I'm just going to go to applications and then accessories and then terminal. So uh, screen recorder will flick off for the second so you can't actually see me do this. But terminal here. I'm going to click that and we now have a terminal box. Looks a little bit like a command prompt box in Windows. So hoping that you can see this, I'm going to say cd dot dot, cd dot dot, and I'm then going to say cd cd rom. Now this is the CD-ROM drive, um, the CD-ROM that we've inserted, and it has the VBOX editions on it that you just saw in the file browser. So if I say DIR, you'll notice that we have VBOX Linux editions here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to type sudo sh, now this is case sensitive here, so I'm going to go dot forward slash VBOX, uh, VBOX Linux editions dot run, and then say all on the end. That's all I'm going to type. I'm going to press enter. And it says verifying archive integrity. All good. VirtualBox editions installation. Building the VirtualBox guest editions kernel module. And hopefully all should be well when we go to restart. Now you'll get to see if this actually works. Because I'm guessing some of you guys who haven't actually installed Linux yet on this virtual machine. There we go, it's done. You must restart your guest system. So I'm just going to restart the machine. Uh, just press reset. Uh, I'm not going to bother <laughs> doing a shutdown in Linux, can't be bothered. So, um, yeah, this was uh, meant to be included in the last bit, but for starters, I didn't have 10 minutes to show you. Um, I had less than 10 minutes to show you the whole thing, and um, I didn't notice the uh, little run thing at the, at the end of it. So, that's how to uh, install this additions. Now, hopefully, the screen recorder can follow me because... I can run this properly. Uh, it says, right, it now reports that the guest OS supports mouse pointer integration. Good. I'm going to click OK. My password is Duncan. Poo. So now I can move my uh, boxes in and out. And I can select uh, like the applications. And I can move my mouse in and out. And now the screen recorder follows me properly. And I don't have to worry about pressing this right control. So that's a really good thing to do. Now let's try it in seamless mode. Oh no, it hasn't got seamless mode. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well, but at least we've got the uh, mouse integration here, so we can uh, just go in and out. So uh, that's about it really. I'm disappointed that they haven't got support for seamless mode um, with Linux and Windows, but hey. Uh, thanks for watching my video, that's how to get the uh, VBOX editions. Now it doesn't seem to do much, I think it just does this um, this uh, mouse integration. I think it might do something like uh, synchronising the time with your um, computer clock or something, I'm not sure. But hey, um, so thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.